What's up folks, how's it going? Um, haven't made a video in a little while because my computer's broken, but uh, I borrowed my roommate's laptop to make this video because I feel that uh, I have to make this video. Um, I've been struggling for some time with whether or not I should be the one um, to tell you guys this, but I've decided that that I need to be strong for all of us and tell you guys that uh, unfortunately Honey Boo Boo's family has survived a car accident. Now wouldn't it be great if that's how they presented it? Why aren't these people dead? Could someone please kill these people? The, the, the main reason I'm making this video is because I, I was inspired by um, a uh, movie that I saw the other day called God Bless America. It's got a really good actor, really good actress. Can't remember their names because I'm stupid as shit. Um, the shit's on Netflix or whatever. Look it up. Uh, if you have Netflix or you're stealing somebody's Netflix, watch this film. Uh, the gist of it is the dude, you know, his life's all fucked up and he's going to kill himself. But he decides uh, while watching television that instead of killing himself, uh, he's gonna kill this fucking cunt that's on uh, that's in the movie's version of uh, Super Sweet 16. So he kills that bitch and it goes on in this fashion. He kills a bunch of people for you know, just people that are rude and people that are peddling stupidity and just shittiness to people. And uh, anyway, it's a really good movie. But after, after I was done with the movie, I was watching with my friend. And I, you know, I, I suggested the movie, so I you know I asked him how it was because I crave uh, validation. And he said, you know, he, he liked the movie, but he found it to be eerie. Um, I said, what do you mean by eerie? And he said, well, you know, I, I, at no point did I disagree with what they were doing. I mean, I know that it's wrong to kill these people, but it just didn't seem that way. And, you know, I kind of agree. That's how, that's how fucked it is. That's how stupid everything is. And it feels like it is advancing at a, at a faster rate. And when I say this, it makes me feel like an old person that's like, oh, in my day, things were... But seriously, in the last five to ten years, the popular culture has just... It seems... You would have thought it would have bottomed out, but it just keeps going. It just fucking keeps going. It's unbelievable. And who's who's to blame for these things? We blame the honey boo-boos. I mean, I don't know. These people are being paid to, to present this lifestyle or pretend to present this lifestyle, whatever, you know. Uh, is it the people that make it, you know, that film it and produce it and edit it? Well, I don't know. They're being paid to do it, too, and they have bosses, and their bosses have bosses, and everybody's just reacting to what the society wants. But I just don't see it that way because I don't think that the society wants to be uh, made retarded. I don't think that's what the society wants. I think that that's what the owners want. <clears throat> there's a select group of people that pretty much decide everything that you see on the television, you know, and they're the ones responsible for driving the general thought pro process of the entire nation. Because the thing is, you know, oh well, you can go look up this information, that information. Some people are smart enough to do that. Some people have time. I have time. Some people don't have time. Some people are working sixty hours a week. And, or whatever, you know, and they go take care of the kids. They don't have time to go look this shit up. They watch TV, and they're bombarded with more stupid bullshit constantly. I can't even fucking watch commercials. It it, it, it makes me angry, like, like, really, really fucking angry. It's so stupid. Everything is so fucking stupid. And it's these people uh, at the top that are making these decisions. You know, I, I just recently saw this documentary about how, you know, everybody knows that the top 1% owns all this money. But when, when you... When you hear the all these statistics in a row, it really works to piss me off, um, you know. And and I can already hear some people be like, "What are you What are you saying, Chris? Are you communist man? You don't think people should be able to make money, man? No, it's not what I'm saying. I understand that in a capitalist system, you must have the opportunity to have wealth. Um, the theory being that that's what drives people's success uh, but you know the question I have is how much wealth do you need and also you know if if you're making money off of things that are literally destroying 
the society, you are a bad person. I don't think you should just, you know, just because you made money off it doesn't make you morally right. I think the people that are peddling stupid bullshit to everybody in this country and to the children and all the other fucking people and to the, to the ignorant that it's not their fault, peddling stupid bullshit to them are just as bad as people that are peddling drugs or fucking guns or any of that other shit. It is just as, if not more, destructive because it, it, what affects the mind affects everything else. Um, you know, it's, it's like I want to talk about... You know, it's like I want to come on here and talk about news stories or whatever. Like, I don't know, I want to talk about that fat-ass fucker from New Jersey and the stupid bullshit over the bridge or whatever, which I thought before I come it was funny because I check all the news sites because I'm a masochist. And on CNN, that was the top story was the New Jersey bridge scandal. Fox, no mention of that shit on their front page. I'm sure if I dug, I would have found something. But, you know, what they put on the front page is what they want people to see. No mention of it all, at all. I think it's funny when, uh, when it's so blatant like that. Um, but you know, why even talk about this shit when, when, when I look around and I feel like the society is being destroyed, and, and you find out that the government is openly admitting to spying on everything that we're doing, recording our phone calls, and and having basically limitless ability to gather any information they want. The question is, you know, what information are they gathering? But the fact that they had the ability to is what what frightens me, and that people have just accepted it. And then, you know, we find out that this is apparently, according to the government, only a fraction of the information that the Snowden individuals stole. So what the fuck else are we going to find out that they're doing? Uh, that is fucking terrifying to me. You know, people often. You know, wonder if you know I'm actually mad about something or whatever. If I'm just bullshitting, and I get these questions. This situation, I'm not mad about the um, constant dumbing down uh, of you know at, at the, the at the expense of the poor to the betterment of the rich and the people that are in in uh, positions of power because people are distracted and stupid. And, and these this spying on us. This doesn't make me angry. It frightens me. Uh, it terrifies me to my core. Um, you know, it, it, something I'm mad about is them not killing Assad. That's something I'm mad about. Something that I pretend to be mad about but I think is actually funny is that bacon bowl thing where you, like, put the bacon in the bowl and you cook the bacon and it, it, it makes a bowl and you take it out and, it, and it's fucking you know you fill it with shit the first bite out you take out it all crumble because it's bacon you need to and soon they're going to sell special gloves so that you don't burn your hands on the bacon and you're going to have like baby sized bacon bowl that's the kind of thing that I kind of you know I find kind of funny uh, something that I find completely funny is when uh, the Australian health department or the Australian government has to announce that people should not enter appliances because a gentleman got himself stuck in a uh, in a washing machine that the the Australian government has to announce that it is not a good idea to get inside of appliances that kind of thing I find funny um, but I also kind of find that frightening so it's a really confusing kind of cyclical thing, you know. It's really fucked. I mean, there's a, there's a foot of snow outside, and the other day I saw a True Green Chemlon van driving around. This is a disturbed individual. We, we, we are truly fucked. Uh, Happy New Year.